today I want to talk about how to handle the holiday season and possibly some anxiety that may come along with it. Okay, so you're going to a lot of social gatherings. You're drinking more than you normally do, possibly eating more sugar than you normally do, not sleeping as well, feeling more dehydrated maybe because of the drinks, and you just kind of start to feel off. Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe sometimes you've experienced before, I call it like the Sunday blues where I'm like, man, I just do not feel normal. And then I kind of retrace my steps from the weekend. And I'm like, yeah, you didn't sleep your normal amount. You were drinking more. You were eating foods that aren't as nourishing as your normal foods during the week. And you just kind of feel, you feel anxious. You feel overwhelmed. You're kind of like nervous about stuff. I feel like that is sometimes what happens with the holidays where there is just more festivities. Maybe there's more caffeine. Maybe there's more time with your family. And there are some ways that we could build in some coping strategies that will reduce the stress and the anxiety, letting you enjoy it more. So let's start with tip number one. If you find yourself spending more time around family or possibly traveling and staying with family, I have found that sometimes being outside of your normal environment can create anxiety. And I don't know about you, and I don't know why this is, but sometimes when you're around your family, different than your friends, do you ever feel like you revert to a teenager? Like you start acting more anxious and, and you're more on edge about stuff? I find it so strange, but this happens to me. And so what I've realized when I travel or when I'm staying with family, I still have to stick to my normal routine best I can. So first thing I do not negotiate on is my water intake. And I know that sounds silly, but just having a water bottle that is your normal go-to bottle and travel with it, put it in your suitcase, this just reminds you that this will help keep your energy up and is something that is just easy to execute. So so I always bring my water bottle with me. Number two, if I'm staying with family, I communicate my needs. And what I mean by that is I don't have to like tell like my, my family like, hey, I'm kind of just getting anxious because I'm out of my normal routine. I'm not sleeping in my normal bed. I'm not going to bed at the same time. I don't have to tell them that, but I communicate when I just need to go and do something on my own. Whether that means I go, like I was at my sister's for Thanksgiving and I was like, hey guys, I'm gonna go down in the basement. I'm gonna do a quick 20 minute workout. It didn't have to be my normal workout. I wasn't going to a gym. I just went down there and played around and I did some body weight squats, some push-ups, some walking lunges, some glute bridges. It was all easy to execute stuff, but just removing myself from the environment for 20 minutes, it just gave me that own space and time to kind of be with myself and stay in alignment for like my mental and emotional peace. And you'd be surprised. You know, like when you're on vacation, it's a bunch of friends or family and you all are kind of like wanting your own space, but then you're like, I don't know, we're here together. Shouldn't we like do everything together? Everyone appreciates their own space. Sometimes we just feel guilty because we're coming together for a reason. So don't be afraid to just say, I need 20 minutes to myself. Whether you go take a shower or you read a book or you just go meditate for five minutes. Taking that time and space just to remove yourself from the environment, it will just make you feel so less anxious. Okay, so that's like my biggest tip when I'm traveling. I just really do create time and space for myself as well as try to stay something routine. And for me, it's always gonna be my water and it's gonna be nourishing food as well. So as we go through the holiday season, focus on nourishing type food, your quality ingredient foods, whether those are your lean proteins, your starchy carbs, your good fats, your vegetables, your fruits, as much as you can fill up your month with that, that is gonna make you feel better when you go to these social environments that have more food that maybe you're not as used to eating. That way then, when you're done with that party and come Monday or Sunday or whenever you're getting back to the normal you plan, you already have those foods readily available that you know nourish you, keep your energy up, keep you feeling great with your digestion and all that good stuff that we're looking for with our food. So eat nourishing food. Okay, so I talked about hydration when you're traveling. But number three, it's hydration. Like, the more you stay hydrated, the more your energy stays up, the more less likely you are to want to have more processed carbs and fats, which are just higher in calories. And that sometimes which can actually make us feel more anxious. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but eating foods that are not quote unquote like normal for your body to digest and absorb, there's nothing wrong with having them. It's just kind of foreign to your body. And so keeping your hydration up will keep your energy up, which won't make you revert to having those processed carbs and fats to find that energy. And so I always say, 
during the holiday season or any time where you're not in your normal environment, I love to go one and a half times to two times your normal water intake. So my normal water intake runs between a gallon, like 128 ounces to 160. I'd go all the way up to 200 plus during times where I'm gonna be eating off of my normal routine. That hydration is key. So number three, keep the hydration up. It's such an easy one to do during the holiday season and you'll be shocked how it really will reduce your stress. Okay, supplements. So a lot of people ask me about supplements. The ones that I do focus on, especially when it's more of a stressful time of the year, whether that is the holiday season or maybe you're starting a new job, maybe it's a busy season with your family, maybe it's a lot of activities, like maybe it like um, steps up in terms of driving the kids around in the fall and you're like, I just feel so anxious. Some of the supplements I like to relax myself at night are magnesium and chamomile. In particular with magnesium, Paul and I have like an oil that we rub on so we get it on the skin because your skin's one of the biggest organs so it gets in there quicker and it really does work to relax you. I also might add in a chamomile tea. And then the last one I've been doing is like a liquid collagen and I am loving it for sleep benefits. It's also great for like cellulite, better skin, hair, all that good stuff. But Paul and I are sleeping like babies. And so I'll, I'll pop the link to the one that we're using below, but that has been a game changer. So find ways to relax your body at night to get really good rest. It is a huge one. But those are the supplements that I'm doing right now just to kind of keep me relaxed in an already stressful time. And then number five, it's movement. Like, it's so crazy to me that during stressful times of the year, this is when people need more than ever to stay in alignment with those health and fitness behaviors that keep you physically and mentally and emotionally feeling stable and at peace. And they're the first ones to go out the window. It's the first ones we make excuses for. Like, I don't have time to meal prep and I don't have time to move my body. And, and I, I, have, I sleep less because I have to wrap more presents and we're going to more social events. This is when you want to work even harder to dial in on those behaviors because that's how you're going to feel less anxious. And so number five, it's movement. Like, yeah, it might not be what kind of workout you normally do in terms of the time allotment that you have, but it doesn't mean that you can't move at all. I mean, it could be a quick 10 minute walk around the block. It could be a quick set of body weight um, squats or pushups in between when you're wrapping presents. In fact, I just shared a reel on my Instagram the other day that when I'm wrapping presents, I sometimes get anxious. Like, I just don't like wrapping them. It's not my thing. So I will like wrap five and then I like, I flip over to my back and I do a set of dead bugs and then all of a sudden I'll wrap another five and then I'll flip over and I'll hold a plank and it kind of makes it more fun for me. I know you're probably thinking, oh, doing core work is fun. Oddly, I just feel better when I do it and then I feel like I have a flatter stomach. I feel like I'm doing something in between those presents to kind of distract me and then it does add up. And so if you can't do it traditionally like a 30 minute workout or get to your group class, look at easy ways to add it in. So maybe like you're entertaining and you're busy making your meals for the big social gathering. Maybe in between like while something in the oven, you have a, a pair of dumbbells right next to you and you can do a set of bicep curls or you can do some body weight push-ups along the counter. It doesn't have to be an hour long. Just make it be something that mentally and physically stimulates you. So that would be number five. Keep your movement in there in whatever capacity you can. And even if it is just a walk or if it's just five minutes of stretching, that will pay off and it will keep that consistent pattern in your routine and it will keep that anxiety down. So those are my biggest tips. That's it. Like figure out how you cope with stress most of the year. And for a lot of us, when it comes to health and fitness, it's just your normal, it's normal routines, it's normal behaviors. And just figure out how you can best fit those in during this holiday season. So that's what I got for you today. Those are my best tips and tricks on how to stay less anxious and more excited during this holiday season. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Would love if you share your feedback in the comments below and Happy holidays. <laughs> you see Mr. Bear back there. He's a pretty big fan of Lars and Leif, and now I just kind of see him creepily staring over my shoulder in the background. So ignore him, but they really want that bear by the Christmas tree.